Welcome to another episode of Philosophy and in today's episode I'm going to be talking about the four major elements that you need to have on your website contact page. So the number one element that you need to have on your contact page is your phone number. It's really important to put your phone number in order for people to be able to call you, especially when they're in the mood to buy or in the mood to inquire about your products and services. The second element on the list is your email. And yes, it's your electronic mail, your virtual inbox, your post office, you name it. And the very reason for this is because if I wanted to send you files or attachments or something formal, it could be a formal invitation, it could be a formal letter to inquire or a letter of interest, whatever it is, an email is a great way to receive such documents. And for the very shy people out there who doesn't want to use your phone number to call you right away, they could just simply drop your message through your email. The third element on your content page should be a bunch of your social media links. So if I was a fan of your company or your products and services, then I would want to follow the activities and the marketing campaigns that you put out there. So I could follow you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, any of the social media accounts that you have for your company or business. So I could keep track of the activities that's happening and get the latest news out from your social media accounts without needing to go to your website. The fourth element that you need to have on your contact page on your website is a contact form. And the very reason for this is that contact forms are very flexible. You can customize these forms in order for your visitors to inquire specifically about a product or service or any specific topic that they want to send out to you. What's great about contact forms is that unlike a phone number and following social media and emailing, a contact form can give your visitors the flexibility to contact you any time of the day, the week, the month. And this eliminates all the time zones in the world and gives the visitors a chance to communicate at any given time. So those are the four major elements that you need to have on your website contact page. There are a lot more that you can add on your contact page like forum groups, Facebook groups, and lots more. But these are the four elements that I would highly recommend to have as a standard in all of your website contact pages. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe to get the latest video and updates every week. If you got any questions about websites, make sure you hit me up on all major social medias at Philip Suriano.